Hello and welcome to Joe's Crafty Calder on my channel for crafting, collecting and Harry Potter and today we have the latest in the Geek Gear Wizardry um, subscription box. This is a monthly subscription box from Geek Gear. Um, it is £24.99 um, plus postage to wherever you are internationally. Um, this is just one of a number of boxes they do. So they do the Geek Gear Wizardry, they do the Geek Gear Wizardry Wearable, uh, Classic and I think they do Wizardry Wands as well. Um, so monthly subscription, they also do a uh, special edition which are quarterly um, and then every so often they bring out a wizardry limited edition so I think the latest one is being delivered around about now I didn't order that one because it was house elf related and I'm not really fussed by house elves um, so I didn't order that one um, but I have ordered a couple of their previous ones from this year as well um, so I'm not affiliated with them at all I just get these boxes and open them and see what we get um, so let's get into it this is a festive box um, so they always in for the November box they always do it as the festive box so that everyone has it in time for Christmas so that's the first look uh, first impression I'm not gonna like the t-shirt but I very rarely do like the t-shirt so there might be a house related item in here because I'm Ravenclaw and there are little blue um, recyclable worms in it so it is Hedwig flying over a snowy hogsmeade by the look of it. Yeah, I'm not really a fan. Not no, I don't really like that t-shirt. Sadly, it's it's very it's very rare that you get me to like a t-shirt. So um yeah, not not surprising. I've liked the last few actually. So this was from the September box and so I quite like this St Mungo's one um, so yeah right what have we got next so we have a little box um, I think this is going to be extendable ears because I can see it on the front so I think these are just meant to be replica extendable ears they're a little bit <laughs> creepy <laughs> So yeah, so there we've got the two extendable ears on uh, on that cable. Um, there, it, it's a cool it's a cool replica. I have to say, do I like it though? Would I put it on display? Um, possibly not. Um, but yeah, still a still a pretty cool replica. Try and fit them back in the box. They didn't fit in the box to start, so if I can't get them in, then I won't. Oh. Well, I got them to fit in, so we're fine. Okay, the next box we have is going to be some sort of Christmas tree. Maybe. Or a decoration for a Christmas tree. Okay, so it's a decoration. So it's a little blue bauble with some extra hanging there and so it's a veritaserum I don't know if you can read that so veritaserum little bauble there that's quite cute that's very that's sort of that's very different I do actually have a Hogwarts tree so I could I could very well put that on the tree so that's cool that's a bit different I don't know if I 100% like it <laughs> but it is cool right Okay, what have we got here? Is this going to be something? This looks like a stocking. I can tell you that now. So it's a house. It's a house. That's quite nice. I, I do like that. So it's just a plain black stocking with some white fur. Um, and on it, it's got, rather than a house crest, which is quite nice, it's got the, um, the different house colours on it wearing scarves and giving gifts um the only negative i have about that is it's not the right ravenclaw colors it's it's film ravenclaw not book ravenclaw and i am always a faithful book ravenclaw so everything should be blue and bronze <laughs> not blue and silver that is slytherin can i get it back in? <laughs> it's always the test 
We'll get in there. We'll get in there. There we go. That's close enough. Um, but yeah, it's still cute though. It's different. I like the fact that it doesn't have the mas house mascots on it because obviously it annoys me that they're always ravens rather than um, eagles. So at least they've got that. Not got that wrong because I've not done it. Then we have two cards. So we have one first Christmas card. He's quite big this year. I think last year they were smaller. So you've got, it says, happiness can be found even in the darkest of times if one only remembers to turn on the Christmas lights. So that's quite cute. I would keep that as actually just a print. I wouldn't even give that to someone as a card. I'd just have that up at Christmas as a bit of a, a bit of something different. And then we have um, the mirror of Erised, all direct, decked out Christmassy. And in it, you can see Crookshanks in a little hat and the Christmas tree and Christmas lights. So yeah, see they'd be quite good either, yeah, to actually send them as cards or to use them as prints at Christmas. Then we have our monthly charm, which is a little broomstick. So it's either a Nimbus 2000 or a Firebolt. There. I don't know how easily you can see that. So there we go. It's a little firebolt or broomstick. I think it might be the Nimbus actually. There we go. That's cute. I really like that one. Then we've got our usual loathed scratch card. <laughs> and then I think we're at the bottom of the box. Feel like it was that many items as usual hmm. um so we've got the spoiler sheet so then we've got um a print which is the um the egg from the second task of the triwizard tournament um with obviously harry in it going and rescuing the uh, four people in the background from the mer people um so that's quite a nice print i like the color because i do like teal um for that one so let's read this so da -da -da, exclusive winter wonderland t-shirt uh tri wizard challenge egg print so that's actually a licensed one uh seasonal greeting card times two uh tree potion bauble uh uniforms christmas stocking uh eavesdropping ears replica and then the wizardry broom um and then on the back this is different so then on the back we've got a uh, psychic services lost toad found love potion werewolf their wolf hmm. and then some sort of subscribe to geek gear thing so they've kind of done it like a bit of a poster there so that's new that's different i think that's the first month they've done that um i'm just not sure about this box i just i'm a little bit underwhelmed i was expecting it to be like really festive -y and i know it is festive it's got obviously festive items but yeah i don't know i'm just very underwhelmed i don't know um let me know your thoughts um of what you liked and what you didn't like and whether you thought this was Christmassy. I don't know, I just feel like it's not that many items this month. I know it is, It's. The, I think it's the same number as normal. Maybe not. Maybe we usually get sort of eight items. We've got one, two, three, six. Yeah, so we've probably got two less items than normal. But I suppose that's quite a, the ball ball is quite sort of intricate and stuff. And so the stocking is probably a bit extra as well. Um, yeah, I'm just not sure what to think about this box really I'm just a bit meh nothing jumps out at me as me really really liking it except for the little charm which is a bit disappointing if it's the charm that's what's doing it I don't know anyway let me know your thoughts um as always I'm not affiliated with them as I said at the beginning um so yeah do comment down below and uh, I will see you in my next video thanks for watching bye